Hello guys, this is Vivek and this is the 23rd tutorial of this tutorial series on Linux. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn about umask command that is used for setting the default file permissions or the directory permissions. So the default permission for files are set by the processes that create them. For example, a text editor creates a file so that they are readable and writable but not executable by everyone. The same goes for shell redirection or additionally if a uh, compiler is creating a program it's uh, it's having execute permissions. So many times you don't want these permissions to be set as per these rules and so you may want to take away few of the permissions from these files. So for that, umask command is used. So umask command is used mainly for taking away few permissions which you don't want to give to the to the user or setting the default file permissions. So if you want to see the default file permission, you can just enter umask command and you will see what's the default value is. Like for this particular directory, the default umask value is 0022. Those, let's forget about the first bit that is uh, the leading zero actually indicates the special user and group permission that are not created or not cleared. So basically the permissions or the umask value is 022 and this means out of the maximum numerical permission possible 777, 022 should be minus. That means full permission of a file or directory, what a typical file is having, suppose 666 or directory has 777. The default permission is equal to file permission minus umask value. So let's see. Here we have the umask value of 022 and let's create a file. So let's see it. or we already have a file called test right so or it doesn't have the read write permission okay we will type c ch or sudo ch mod 666 to test cool now this file has read write permission as well here okay so it is having 666 now what's the default permission of this directory so umask value is 022 as we saw so 666 minus 022 it comes as 644 so what i'm trying to say is umask is is equal to 022 right we saw that that is here and the default file permission is 666. So 666 minus you are taking away 022. It should be equal to 6, 4, and 4. That's right. So if the file permission should be 666, you are taking away 022 out of it. It should be 644. So let's try creating a new file here and we'll see what happens. We'll create a new file called our VIM test 2 or test 3. We'll write something test, we'll save and close it and let's see the what, what's the permission for this particular file is. Okay, we have read and write that is 6. Now we have read that is 4. Now again read that is 4. So even though the file default permission should have been 666, we took away 022 out of it. So it became 644. That is nothing but read write for user or owner, read for group and read for others. Similarly for directories, the default should be 777. Right? But when you are taking a base 022 out of it, that is 777 minus 022, that becomes 755. 
So let's take a few examples and see how this umask command works. So we'll create a new file and a directory to see how the default umask affect permissions. Let's create a file called touch and new file. We'll call new file one. Oh, sorry. Touch and new file one. Okay. This file must have got created. Let's see what's the permission for this new file is it says read write read read all right now we'll create a new directory called mkdir and again mkdir and new directory new directory one we'll see ls minus ld for new directory one Cool. It has got read and execute, read, execute, read, execute. These are the default permission for this directory. Now we'll set a umask value to zero. This setting will not mask anything of the permission of the new files or any of the permission of the new file. We'll create a new file and directory to see how this new mask affects the permission. So we'll write umask zero. It means it will not mask anything, any of the permission of new file. Now, what about we'll create a new or touch new file two. If we see new file two, it's having the same permission. Read, write, read, write, read, write. That means the default permission of the file is 666 and you mask value is changed from the previous 0 to 2 to 0 that means the whatever the default value of the file is it should be given and that's what it happened now let's see for directory what happens so previously we, we saw that a directory permission was read write execute read execute and read execute cool we'll create another directory right now we'll create we'll create mkdir new directory 2 we'll see ls minus ld new directory 2 so what happened read execute read execute read execute so that means the default permissions for directory was 777 and we set you must value zero that means nothing should be removed from this and that's why you are seeing the default permission as 777 let's set the you must value to 007 let's clear the screen we'll try with another setup this time we'll set you mask value as 007 what does it means it means that for user we are not taking away anything or owner we are not taking away anything for group we are not taking away anything but for others we are not giving any permission let's see how it works so we'll create a new file touch new file 3 oh, sorry spelling is wrong T -O -U -C -H, t-o-u-c-h touch new file 3 ls minus lt new file 3 ls minus lt new file 3 so read write permission 6 read write permission 6 but no permission to the others because we took away everything from this particular user because that's what we said you mask 007 for others take away 7 permission let's see what happened to directories so we'll create mkdir new directory 3 We'll see ls minus ld new directory new directory three all right what's what happened to the other permission see it's having no permissions because we took away seven out of the default permission hope it clears some doubt to you or to make you understand how you must actually work let's let's take one more example let's 
try to set another u mask value u mask 0 to 7 sorry u mask 0 to 7 so what it means so for owner don't take away anything for group take away 2 for others take away 7 means everything let's try creating new file and directory and see what file permissions they are having we'll create new file 4 we'll see what permission it has new file 4 so for owner the default permission is 6 read write for group we took away two out of it so only read permission is there write permission is taken away for others we took away everything so no permissions for others similarly we'll see for the directory that if we create mkdir new directory make new directory new directory 4 and if you see the permission of this directory you'll see that the default permission is read write execute that is 7 we took away 2 that is 5 so read and execute 4 plus 1 and for others no permission is present because it took away all the permission out of it so this is how you must work but the point to be noted here is that whatever you must value we are setting here it's temporary so in case you want to set this you mask value permanently to this particular user you need to modify few files so typically you can modify slash etc slash profile and make an entry there so right now we are on red hat enterprise linux uh, this file is common for linux versions on red hat or ubuntu we'll see so let's see what's the content of the file cat profile or oh, cat slash etc slash profile we see that the u mask value is being set to 2002 so this means the u mask value of directory is 002 and u mask for the file is 022 now if you want to change the u mask value you can just append one line here saying that u mask is 023 or um, sorry not 023 but 007 what we saw in a previous example or 027 in the last example you can just append a one particular line at the end of this file and that will take effect permanently so every time a user logs in this profile uh, script gets executed similarly if you see in ubuntu we have the same file called cat etc and then the profile file if you append the one line here at the end of this particular file setting the particular u mask value like 0, 0, 0027 that we saw in the last example that we take into effect permanently so remember u mask value if you are setting using shell prompt it's temporary until and unless you don't make an entry in slash etc slash profile file so i hope you guys learn about u mask command making use of you must command to set a particular permissions to files or directory or to any users to safeguard um, your linux box and to give the optimal permission to any users or uh, any other group who are responsible for a particular file so try to play around with this command more and more and you'll slowly become comfortable and in case you want to see the different you mask options you can always go to the man page so you can type man u mask and it will give you the documentation on u mask so this man command is uh, common for all linux platforms this is what we saw in ubuntu here also if you type man and u mask you'll get the page on u mask command so feel free to ask questions in case you have any doubt in the comment section read this this tutorial uh, this documentation practice 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 that's the only way to learn these commands i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to subscribe my channel so that in future you don't miss any tutorials thanks for watching guys